This is just a quick video to show you how to remove wefts and replace them in your wig. All right, so what you want to do first is um, find a wig. Let's say I was using this wig here and I wanted there to be more fullness in the front. I would take out wefts from different sections in the back. This is what wefts look like when they're sewn in. If you flip your wig inside out here, you see the rows of wefts just going across. Now, it looks like it's really complicated, but um, it's really not. They're only attached on these, the elastic pieces that stretch around the your head, and they're just sewn in there. So you just take a seam ripper, you can take fingernail clippers or something like that and just detach the, the threads and then pull out your weft. So here is one of two wefts that I took out of this portion of the wig right here. You see it's hardly noticeable, it's pretty thick right here so that's why I took them out. And I'm going to replace this missing section right here. You see some lines that were drawn across. This is where I'm going to lay the weft and then sew it in. I'm starting from the back or the narrowest part and then going forward. Uh, that way all my wefts, they cover each other except for this first one. I'm going to kind of have to fold it under uh, to make it kind of disappear there. But you just kind of lay it down just like that against your line. And then you take a needle and thread. Here I have a needle with some white thread on it. And then you just go ahead and hand sew it in. And make sure you, <laughs> you anchor it. It's best to do it from the inside out, but since I'm doing the video here, I'm gonna Alrighty, do this. so this is what it looks like uh, when you sew it from the top way up. That's why I said it's better to do it from the inside out because you start seeing the little threads right here. In the grand scheme of things, it probably doesn't really matter that much, but it just looks a little more aesthetic aesthetically pleasing when you do it the other way around. When you put on your wefts and you get towards the edge and you don't need any more, you know, wefts going to the outer edges, just clip it off with your scissors. Just make sure you do it, you know, a straight cut and don't go at an angle so you don't end up cutting the wefts you just sewed in. Um, that's pretty much it. You just keep going until you're satisfied with it and then you style it like you normally would. This is the rewefted wig. I went ahead and pulled out those those wefts that I did earlier when I was doing it from the top and did it from the inside out. So you see that you can't really see any of the the threads that are in there or anything. It just kind of looks like it was supposed to be like this already. Um, you can do this technique for splicing wigs together. So you know buying two of the same wig or two wigs in general and taking out wefts and then transplanting them to another wig. It's the same, it's the same principle. And this is what the wig looks like inside out. So you see all the little white stitches that I did to um, sew down the tr transplanted hair. Let's see. Let me turn this around. So there are the rest of the wefts right there. And you can see, you can't really see where I took them out. I mean, just right there, pretty much. But there it is. Pretty simple. Thank you guys, for watching again. If you have any suggestions for other quick cosplay related videos, just leave a message below or PM me on my fan page. That's John and K Cosplay on Facebook. My next convention is going to be Salvatin Khan, hence why I'm wearing this shirt right here. Um, that's it. Thanks.